Hey guys, Trent Parker here with Parker Service Company. This video I'm going to show you how to wire up a doorbell system. It's pretty simple and do some troubleshooting on it. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, this is a little diagram that I have for the um, doorbell system. Uh, you can see of course it starts out with the 120 volts AC and then have a transformer here that's 16 volts AC, not DC. Uh, I have my doorbell here, and then my two switches, the front door and the back door. All right, so first, you wanna start out, basically you, you need like a two strand wire um, to run. And this is basically just thermostat wire, actually it is, that's all it is, is thermostat wire that I had. Um, it doesn't matter which color goes on which side, just hook up. Start a white right here, a red right here. Anyways, you're gonna run the wire to the doorbell. And basically, you'll have a red and a white when you get there. And you'll take your white, just any one. You can, I like to use white on this board, or you can use all the reds, but I'm gonna use the white. So take the white, and right there it says transformer. So you're gonna hook up get my hands to work the white wire to the transformer and then you have a red right here okay so uh, then you're gonna go to your doorbell switch and once again it doesn't matter which color on which side on this switch either just hook a red right there and a white right there run that line back up to the box leave your red wire to the side and then take your white wire and this is going to be your front door so let's hook this up to the front door terminal and it's labeled front all right and the same as the other switch the rear switch it's two wires red and white doesn't matter on which color goes on the back of them. Just attach them to the back. Run the two wires up. And you'd be a white wire is what we're using. Hook it to the rear. And it's labeled that on the board. Okay, so you're going to have three red wires left over. So just take a... Regular old wire nut. Let's we'll splice these bad boys together. And that's basically it. Next thing we gotta do is power it up. All right, so we got it powered up. And if you notice right here, this one is a lidded doorbell switch. This is a knot and that's typical in a doorbell kit. You can get both of them lit, but the one I got, the front door is usually lit. So, let's check it out. Front door works, and the back door works. And I guess I'll get into a little bit of troubleshooting the system here. So let's just say, hey, my doorbell light is now off. Um, let's just say it's flashing or if it's not ringing correctly or anything like that, if it's not ringing at all, the one way to find out if it's the switch, just take the wires off the back. If I can do it without breaking it myself, which I've almost done. I really put these wires on there. Yep. Good Lord, I did. Anyways, it's low voltage. It's not gonna electrocute you or anything. Very small voltage going through here. Um, so we're gonna talk about, like I said, if you're trying to figure out if the switch is broke, you could take the two wires and touch them together. The rings, you know you have a bad switch. Okay, so it rings, we have a bad switch. 
the next thing is um, really um, the next thing is you can go to your transformer where you have your 120 volts coming in and you can check for power there and make sure you have the 120 volts that or if you have a meter I have the Fluke 324 I use it doing my air conditioner work so amp meter set it to volts AC volts and then take your two leads and you should have usually reads on these around i actually about 22.4 so we know we're good you got the voltage okay uh if you don't have the voltage check with the power and then if you have power uh and then no voltage on your transformer you know you have a bad transformer okay uh another thing is sometimes these doorbells uh, somebody pushing it real hard, um, they can get stuck in there and the switch can get stuck and you'll have an issue with your actual doorbell itself. And these things, let me take my camera here. If you see, these things should move pretty much freely. This one right here. If they're not moving freely and they're really hard, you know, you got an issue. Uh, do not oil these things. It even says it. Uh, yeah, don't oil them. Uh, another thing you can look for, I don't know if you can see it in the video. See, this is a coil in there, and that's what triggers this to move up and down when it has um, voltage. You can look down in there. If it's not ringing, um, see if that is black. Sometimes it will melt that, uh, burn that, and it will burn a little, I don't think you can see it, a little plastic piece in there. And if so, you just need to replace this. Um, but this stuff is actually relatively cheap, and you can buy this whole kit. I bought this whole kit for like 12 bucks. So if you're going out and buying a doorbell, you know, you can get the switches and the transformer and everything for like 12 bucks. But that is basically it. Um, that is it, I guess. This is how a doorbell system works. I didn't really go into it too deep, but I mean, how far deep can you go into a doorbell? It's pretty simple. So, I mean, just a, like I said, the two wires from the transformer, two wires from the switch. Um, I got all my white wires right here. I spliced all my red wires. Um, that's it. All right, guys, that's the video. Hope you like it. If so, like and hit subscribe. I'll be making some more videos soon. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh.